My name's Glenn Vickery and welcome to my YouTube channel Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival and today we're going to be going into another uh, shrub or tree uh, called kawakawa. Uh, kawakawa is uh, very uh, common throughout New Zealand um, and how do we recognize it? Okay basically it has these um, heart shaped leaves okay um, and they're pretty recognizable okay um, other things you'll notice on it is the stems here, okay, are very, very smooth, okay, and almost, almost like a rubbery, leathery feel, feel to them, okay, quite smooth. Um, other things that you'll notice on the kawakawa is the green berries, okay, so here's some green berries right here. And they basically stick out as such. All right. Um, yeah, they're quite soft to the touch. Okay, and a little bit rough. All right. Um, these green berries turn an orangey yellow, uh, like the one here. Okay. There's a few other ones around as well, but this one in particular. Okay, and um, these were. Uh, uh, eaten in the old days, okay. Um, the plants don't generally um, uh, bear fruit very often. Well, they do. They bear fruit all year round, but it's hard to find. Okay, they generally start to uh, bear the fruit in the summer months. Okay, when the when the climate's a lot warmer. Um, only the female trees bear fruit okay uh, the male the male trees don't bear the fruit okay how does it taste well let's check it out ones I've eaten before are quite nice and aromatic now let's see this one It's hard to um, give a flavour for kawa kawa. It's, a, it's has its own flavour. There's nothing really to sort of describe it to. But the idea of when you eat the berries is to not chew on the uh, the berry don't chew on it just put it between the, the tongue and the the roof of your mouth and actually suck or draw out all the um, the fluid and the goodness from out of the berry um, and so that all you got left inside your mouth is the seeds Okay, so there's the seeds there, and these here, you don't want to chew on them. You don't want to crunch them up in your mouth, because they're too aromatic, okay, and they're very, very strong flavour, um, will overpower um, the, the flavour of the actual uh, fruit that you're eating, okay, so just throw these away all right um, so you don't want to chew on them all right but um, this is the inside of the uh, berry and it has the uh, I don't know what you'd probably call this almost like a um, spine all right but uh, absolutely nothing wrong with kawa kawa berries um, Mm. Fine. Really nice to eat. Also, the um, the flavour is probably similar to the leaves. Okay. Now the leaves have an aromatic flavour, uh, an aromatic um, smell to them. All right. 
Um, so if you crush, crush up the leaves, all right, and you smell it, just like, just like you do with the tarata leaves or kohuhu, okay. And this, these leaves have an aromatic flavour, or would sort of say smell to them. And it's, it's quite nice. It's not. It's not, it's not, I don't think it's as good as Tarato, but not too bad, you know. Um, the smell of the actual leaves is probably similar to the, um, the smell of the berries when it's in your, in your mouth. It's sort of, there's sort of a similar sort of a taste, uh, aroma about it. Now these, um, leaves have been used in the past to uh, make kawakawa tea, okay, um, or a substitute tea, okay, and what you do is you get a couple of the leaves, um, you can crush them up and put them into like a sort of a tea bag type thing scenario, plonk them into your tea and um, boil up your water and um, throw a bit of milk and sugar in if you wish to, okay, and you're good to go from there. You, you don't have to crush the leaves up like to this point you just get a leaf okay and just sort of break it okay just break the leaf down okay without it actually falling apart okay so you're getting all that aroma aroma coming out and going into the water any more than a couple of leaves okay you're going to make the, your tea far too strong and it's it's not going to taste nice okay so just um one or two leaves is all you need don't go overboard all right now these leaves i must mention that uh rats have been um fed 60 percent of the food like if you say give um a, some rats uh this much food the amount of food here on my fist okay and then you take out 60% of that. So let's say we take out, I don't know, about that much, all right, of the uh, three fingers here, okay? And that much food here is substituted by the leaves, okay, of the amount of food that they eat, all right? So 60% of the leaves take up to 60% of the food. Well, that, that was enough to kill rats, okay? So, Caution should be taken um, using the leaves uh, for uh, a food source such as a uh, tea, substitute tea. But I've drunk in the tea before. Um, I know of other people that have drunk in the tea, and it's quite common. Um, and uh, no one's, no one that I know of has ever become ill from it. However, a couple of leaves, not bad. You know, it's not going to hurt you. Okay. What else has the uh, kawakawa been used for in the past in New Zealand? Well, it has been used for brewing uh, beer or alcohol, okay? Um, and it's sort of related to the pepper tree, okay? Um, and probably more related to the plant from the tropical islands called kava, okay? Uh, now, kava is a... Uh, is, is made by the roots uh, from the kava plant, okay, and uh, it basically like gives you, gets you drunk, okay, when you drink it. Uh, personally, to me, it tastes like mud water, kava does, but I've drunken it on many occasions, and um, uh, you, you, you basically get drunk from it, okay. Um, however, kava is not a uh, alcohol. Okay, it's not classed as an alcohol. So back in the day when I was in the Defence Force, we used to, uh, we weren't allowed to drink alcohol in the barracks. Okay, so what we would do is we'd bring kava back from the tropical islands and we'd, we'd uh, in powder form, and then we would um, make ourselves a big uh, brew of uh, kava and drink that in the barracks, okay? Um, only problem was, it was also illegal in the Defence Force to be intoxicated, okay, or to be drunk. So, um, as long as we didn't get drunk, okay, we were able to drink in the barracks because it wasn't an alcohol, 
so that's what we used to do way back then in the day anyway um, this is uh, kawakawa one of my uh, favorite trees uh, the uh, aromic um, berries beautiful to eat the aromic flat uh, leaves um, are also very uh, good to use okay uh, especially in a scent sachet or something like that but um, thank you for coming along and um, uh, subscribe share and please make comments and um, I hope to see you on the uh, next uh, plant or tree that we do thank you